Hi everyone, this is Cindy and I want to do a flip through with this finished altered book. I call it altered book number two. I just finished it um, without really recording, making the tags or anything like that. Um, so anyway, let's just do a flip through of it. It measures five and a half by seven and three quarters. It has about a one inch spine and that's the original spine. And on these smaller Reader's Digest books, the spines are in really good shape and the pages are glued in. That's why I made an altered book out of it. Sorry if I'm off camera. Um, I talked in the earlier videos about what to do on the cover and I ended up putting this uh, fabric applique that was from cut from a skirt, this piece of scrap book paper, and then this sticker. And I closed it with a hair tie and post closure. And let's just get right in. Marcia had sent me a little happy mail and in it was this um, envelope, um, pocket. And it wasn't until I had this glued in that I realized the tag uh, went with this pocket and it had to come out in the mail so I didn't realize it. But that's okay. I'm going to use that tag on another journal. So anyway, I made uh, for uh, one challenge number one for this August altered book challenge. We had to make um, four five three by five um, journaling cards or tags and we had to use certain elements a banner um, doily, scrapbook paper, a sticker, and a fussy cut image. So that's mine. So I just made a, a tag for this front pocket. And the pocket was made out of a business envelope. Anyway, I did a little um, Mod Podge here with some uh, piece of napkin. And then on the front one here, since I wanted to keep this whole page and everything, I just um, glued two pages together and I have a side pocket. And I just put in this index card I had uh, sewn some yellow fabric on and it can stick out as much as you want now this page here is Edith Holden paper and that brings me to an issue on uh, I know it's been discussed you know on the internet YouTube and Facebook pages about copyright using rubber stamps and things but someone brought up something about the Edith Holden book and I guess in the newer books on the copyright page it has a big long thing about the copyright and it says you can't use the book except as a whole and all that so I'm not sure uh, about all that because my the two books I have this is the only copyright they have and it doesn't say anything about you can't tear up cut up the book and all that so um, I know Tracy Fox on the Facebook uh, page Foxy Crafter said she was had the old books and she was just going to keep using them you know in her journal so um, you know just something to be aware of so anyway you just hold a page there and then on this side of each one of the um, double page spreads um, I have a tuck and I said in one of the videos I did that so if you wanted it to be a side pocket it could be a side pocket if you want it to be a top pocket it could be a top pocket and I chose mainly to make it a top pocket because I put um, a taller tag here and then on the other pockets you'll see in a minute I put smaller tags and this is one I made out of it's got book page in the sandwiched in the middle this antique paper on the back napkin on the front and then I just put that little brad of a um, dragonfly there so anyway that's that one and it just goes in this tuck and I didn't decorate these any to me the papers can stand alone and I also was worried about the thickness because I'm already right here with the thickness but that's with all the tags in it so you can take the tags out and it won't be near as thick and you can you know just add whatever you want okay here's what the rest of the pockets will look like it's the book page folded back and then some sort of decoration on it and this was just a collage sheet i had and this um is a tag i had a set of these i'm not even sure where i got them let me see if i can find them nope of course i can oh yeah here they are it was can company $1.49 oh i think i got these at um tuesday morning so you just <clears throat> It's just tags you can cut, uh, tear out and use. And I thought they're perfect colors and everything for this journal. I didn't put the ribbon in them, but I needed something to be small and not real thick. So I did not put the ribbon in them. So I, whoever gets this journal, I may send you some ribbon. And if you want to put the ribbon in, fine. It's just going to really kind of bulk this up a little bit. So for now, it doesn't have ribbon. Okay, on this tuck, I've got this uh tag that's made out of book page again with lime paper on the back i added some green lace and then this ruler ribbon or like measuring tape and a scrap of edith holden page this pocket's covered with fabric there's ladybugs on it here's another one these index cards 
And over here, this tag is just got paint and some scrapbook paper and then just a little paper cluster. I also did some stenciling on there, those little dots. Then on this page, we got is holding some music paper and some scrapbook paper. Here's another one of those uh, journaling cards I made for the challenge. Fussy cut image, doily, sticker, banner, and then I did some stenciling around scrapbook paper. And then on this tuck, another one of these. And on this page, I think you can see it, I just used a variety of postage stamps. I used some of the, I think this was a spray I'd made. I should have brought it and showed it to you. It looks like this. Yikes, things are falling. Except it's yellow, of course. But that is from a magic marker. You just take that out, put some little alcohol on one of these bottles, and you've got a pretty good spray. And like I said, that's my red one. And then I've got a yellow one around here somewhere. And on um, this pocket, this is a... Uh, let's see, I had one around here. You know, when did I start filming, I lose everything I was going to show. It's the packaging from like some bias tape and it's like that and these are the sides and the back so I just folded it out laid it flat on this tag added uh, rick rack sewed around it washi tape that cut out flower and it's got a bread which you can't see because it's underneath the flower so anyway just a scrapped uh, tag this pocket some more collage paper so it's got the collage look but it's uh, you know, didn't have the thickness. And this is just a journaling card I had in my stash. And on this side, I made a tag out of the, um, these things from a five ring binder, divider pages. So I just cut it with the tab, made a tag out of it with doily and scrapbook paper and some ribbon and that little flower. On this one, we have another one of these uh, tags. This one's collaged with uh, some measuring tape. That's from a book, some scrapbook paper, and here's some of that seam binding packaging I was talking about that was on that tag. And on this tag, we've got an image, some lace, some ribbon, music paper, just all sorts of stuff. This page pocket is decorated with a page out of a sewing book. And there's the um, card I put in there. It just has lace on it. And on this tuck, we have um, another tag made out of antique paper, book pages sandwiched in between. We got pattern instruction sheet on the top, scrapbook paper, lace, a flower, and then I did stenciling on it. Okay, on this pocket, I just did a bunch of butterflies. We got from napkins, from punches. That's kind of a plasticky one. That's a sticker there. The journaling card is a index card with washi on it. And on this tuck, the tag is just made out of music, um, not music paper, pattern paper, and I keep getting off camera. I'm so sorry. Scrapbook paper, an image, and then some ribbon at the top. Edith Holden page. And this is a journaling card with just bits and pieces on it and some paper on the back. This journaling card is just made out of a receipt that I put ribbon on, and scrapbook paper, and some more fabric ribbon there. It's got paper on the back where you can write. This is collaged with just different papers, and another one of these. And behind here is an index card with that fabric. Here is just some scrapbook paper I had that had like sewing images on it. And uh, Gail had shown how to, how to make these little, I'm calling them journaling booklets, made out of tissue sewing tissue paper. And you just put uh, writing paper on it and you stitch around it and uh, stitch between them. So it gives you the different areas to write on. And then I just did some collage work on the front. And here we have another one of those cards I made for the challenge with the banner, the sticker, fussy cut image, doily, scrapbook paper. And then I did some stenciling. This is a collaged uh, pocket with just different napkins and tissue paper. 
and I have two drilling cards. No, one, this is the drilling card, sorry, in there. It was just in my stash. And on this tuck, uh, the last of those journaling cards I made for the challenge with the doily and the banner and the sticker, fussy cut image, scrub it paper, and I did some stenciling. This uh, pocket is painted with yellow paint and just different things collaged on it. Another one of those. And in this uh, tuck is this piece of paper, which I thought about using on the cover, but decided not to, and just chipboard. It was the back of the package of the six by six pad I was using, and it just makes a nice little journaling card. And the last two pockets I put on the back. This one's made out of silk flowers and some tissue and some bling, and then one of these journaling cards. And this last tuck has a guest check in it that I decorated with scrapbook paper and butterflies. And I'm probably off screen again. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll watch this back and if I'm too much off screen, I'll start all over. So anyway, this is this journal and I'm gonna sell it in my Etsy shop, Books by Burke. So if you're interested, go check it out. If it's not there immediately, it's probably because it takes me a while to upload everything. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.